home of the upper Midwest, Spartan Stadium, the tallest structure in East Lansing, consistently ranks among the NCAA's top 20 schools in attendance. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Michigan State has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Scarlet Knights and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he was that close to turning that into a big play. A spectacular run. There was a lot of running room there. This defense may have nightmares tonight about this running back running all over him. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Makes the catch and look out. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 20. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 20. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he might want it all here and does! And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. He makes the PAT, a five-play, 74-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 7-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He scrambles, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Second and 12. Second down and 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. Fires in a hurry. Interception. Down the sideline. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. Rutgers up seven points. Hey. 
fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down around the eight-yard line. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. and smell the end zone as they look to extend this lead. And he's tackled at the nine yard line. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you gotta keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Brown fields at the goal line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ball game. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. And he hits him hard at the 26-yard line. Quick throw. Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. Second and six. Ball on the 26. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Gets it out to the back, first down. And down he goes, around the 39-yard line. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. From their own 39-yard line, first down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got a man, he can't complete the play. There's a play fake. He's tackled at the 44. That's a game five on the way. That'll make it 35. Third down again. Gets rid of it quickly. Glover was the intended target on the play. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Miller awaiting the return. Gets out to about the 21. The Scarlet Knights are having their way on offense so far in this football game. Just a nice rhythm to what they're trying to do. Some balanced attack, running and throwing, and right now this defense just can't stop them. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down, five wide. Tackle at 
at about the 17-yard line. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. So the offense fails to pick up the first down. Brown is back deep to return the punt. Brown fields at the 31, and down he goes at the 37. The Scarlet Knights are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like that. They'll work the left side, and he's taken down around the 34-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on their own 34. They come out in an empty backfield. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And he has it on the corner. Miller takes it at the 20, brought down at the 26. The Scarlet Knights are looking like they're unstoppable right now. They just exploded in this game. I don't know if the defense can adjust or not. Well, they have big playability all over the field, and this defense has got to make some adjustments to do a better job of trying to slow them down. I would recommend trying to put some more pressure on this quarterback by loading the line of scrimmage. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed from their own 37-yard line. First down. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. He's tackled at the 20. The Scarlet Knights have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. He throws left, and he's got it, going the other way now. He's at the 40. That's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. 
They're trying to fight to get back into this game and to have that miscue. Now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. The previous play is under review. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reversed the call on the field. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. That'll make it second and inches. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Here he goes. And he tackles him hard at the 20-yard line. This is one of their special plays they like to call to keep the defense off balance. When you can get first downs in unconventional ways, you have the edge over your opponent. Complete. He's got room. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. It's up, and he got it. Rutgers ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Blue 14! Blue 14! Hut! Hut! And he is drilled at the 23-yard line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Brought down in the open field. Two-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Runs outside for a nice game. So at the end of one quarter, Rutgers in front, 17-0.
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. They come out in a five-wide set. Pressured and brought down. That is a loss of five on the way. And here's another third down. Makes it to the 47. Takes the toss left. And he's level at the 47-yard line. He gets back to the line of scrimmage on the halfback toss. Here's the eighth play of the series. Is back and he makes it out to about the 47 yard line no gain that brings up third and ten. third down now and they need to get it down to the 37 so an empty backfield with five wide receivers gets it he's in space and he's tackled at the 39 and run up the gun. We've got a first and ten. All on the 34-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. That's good for gaining three yards. That'll make it Here's the 12th play of the drive. Inside the 10. What a play. Knocked out of bounds, and that's going to be first and goal. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with the zone, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Here's the give. That's a great tackle at the 24-yard line. One-yard loss for the halfback. Great penetration into the backfield. And that was just a great hit to finish off the play. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 25-yard line.
finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That's a game seven. That brings up fourth and three. Brown back to return it. He makes it to the 38-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Pitch right side. Room around the corner. Makes it out to about the 46. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Steps up in the pocket and sacked. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has again that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Fires it out. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. and 10, all on the 35-yard line. Nice run there. Four yards there on the old quarterback keeper. tackled immediately. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. Bring him down at the six yard line. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Here's a counter, losing yards. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Now he's scrambling. And he's gonna run this one in, touchdown! Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He makes the PAT.
And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Rutgers is up a field goal. He's tackled at the 34. That's a deep nine. That brings in second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Wideout makes the first down catch. Tackle around the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. Number 99 brings him down. First down. From the 39-yard line. First down. They hit him in the backfield. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. And he's immediately tackled. Rutgers has a three-point lead. decent pickup so with that run they pick up another first it's a nice job again up front by the offensive line they're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field gets it out to his receiver in a hurry he's taken down at the 17 yard line what a throw for a big game that is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch the 10, and they make the stop right around the six-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Throws left, picked off. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. First down. This is a scary spot deep in their own territory. Nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. Ruin. 
He's in trouble. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 20. We've played a half. The Scarlet Knights lead 17-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half. And boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this game. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nestler. Does it get any better? I can only hope that Nestler and Herbstreet will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He makes it to the 38-yard line. for the corner, gains his way to the 46-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Fires it quickly. Got it to the senior. And that tackle very well could have saved a touchdown. from the 27 yard line. It's first down. Big opening. Brought down at the 18. it in and gets out of bounds. So the pass was complete for a gain of five on the play, and that's good enough for a first down. I'll tell you, these guys just keep rolling down the field. Quarterbacks looking very sharp on this drive. And now he pitches it. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. And this play is number eight on the drive. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And he adds the extra point. So an eight play, 74 yard drive, and they put up seven points.
Michigan State ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. They just kind of spun their wheels here, but credit to defense with not giving up any ground. Brown is back awaiting the punt. Brown fields it at the 35, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. The Spartans have got to remember that they've still got a fight on their hands in this football game. Yeah, they cannot afford to get sloppy. Remember the first half, how bad they looked, and as good as things are going right now, with an entire quarter to go, they got to continue to play good football. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Loss of two by the halfback. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Michigan State holds a four-point lead. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. No gain on the play. Third down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Carter was the intended target on the play. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Miller is back deep to return the punt. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Here's the give. He fights forward to about the 23. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. Five wide. And they push him out at the 27. Heading for the corner. Gets to about the 44-yard line. The Scarlet Knights have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Michigan State is up by four. And now he pitches it, and he tackles him hard at the 43. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Second down and 11. Ball on the 43.
Grabs it and hammered right there. Fires right side, got his tail back. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 46 yard line. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Pitch is back. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball in the 23. Slings it out there incomplete. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this quarterback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Is the deep man awaiting the return? Brown fields it at the 38. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Michigan State is up four. Nice run there. Carter picks up about seven yards on the run. Bring up second, and three. second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. Carter picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From the 37 yard line. Second down. They'll work the left. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. Defense lays him out. From the 25 yard line, second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he's taken down right around the 26 yard line. Michigan State holds a four-point lead. Throws in a hurry. This one is incomplete. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. He gets it up. And it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 24-17, Michigan State. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's on the run. He's to the 40. Tackle. Right around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. He's going to try and scramble. Big opening. Picks up about nine on the scramble. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. And to the third, and we've got a tight one. The Spartans with a touchdown lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 36 yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. First down. Mike 27, Mike 27, Mike 27. Fires out quickly to the tailback. It's all about chipping away at the defense. Even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence. Second and eight, ball on the 26. Long, left side. Nice run to the left there. This is the eighth play of this drive. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He's under pressure. Out of bounds at the 18. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Michigan State up seven points. They try the right side. And now the ball is loose. Defense has it. It's the linebacker. Touchdown, Rutgers. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. Green, 
He makes his way out to about the 35. From their own 35-yard line, first down. And he hits him hard at the 28. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Michigan State is up a score. Set, high. Oklahoma. High. He's scrambling, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Brought down to 39 yard line. That makes it 37. Slings it. He's taken down at the 29. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. He's got the corner. Tackled after a decent pickup. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's sacked. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Covered. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After, After review of the play, play, the ruling on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Michigan State is up seven. It's up, and the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense really ran the ball well as they finished off their last drive with a touchdown. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll work the right side. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. He might have a chance. And they make the stop at the 48. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. And 
and he's tackled around the 49-yard line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made at the 37-yard line. First down. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's got it with room to run. Throws it in a hurry. Good tackle there in space. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Less than three minutes in the game. Here they come. They bring the quarterback down. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks away. And he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. He's on the run. That's a great tackle at the 24. The Scarlet Knights taking their first time out of the half. It's second and 15. Ball on their own 24. He scrambled. Rutgers will have one timeout remaining. Nowhere to go on the quarterback scramble. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. Looking for his man, incomplete. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. Miller is back deep to return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. The Scarlet Knights coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for them. Well, the offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the 36. That'll make it 
second and in inches. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. From the 21-yard line, first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Catches it, and that's all. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 16-yard line. Five wide. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Under a minute left. And he tacks on the extra point. Late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle at the 33. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. We're late in the fourth quarter. Great game. A tied football game. And the question now is, who's going to rise to the occasion? Big opening. And he's taken down around the 45-yard line. play across the middle brought down right around the 40 gets rid of it quickly and that was almost picked second down and 10 to go ball on the 40 He's immediately tackled. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. going to try and scramble. Decides to slide. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. Taken down at the 23. From the 23 yard line, second down. Fires that quickly, incomplete.
Gets out to around the 15. So the kicker will come out and try to build a three-point cushion here in overtime. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. 22 by 22. Set. He's in trouble. This one's going deep to the end zone. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Michigan State 33, Rutgers 30. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.